guys, this is Alex the IG fan coming at you with another video. Today is going to be my kind of rebooted series of Kaiju battles, and I'm going to be doing Dai Kaiju Royale, Dai Kaiju Rumble, whichever title I'm going to give the series. As you guys recall, a few months ago, I was doing the series from my mic quality. It was extremely terrible. That's why I kind of quit. But now I'm going to be here with special guest Sean. Pride Lion, yay! Insert cheer effect here. Oh, yeah, let me, hold on, let me just get that right now. Um, <laughs> I don't even know which option it was anymore. Dude, was like, I remember, okay, in case you guys don't have any context, like, if we say something, like, you guys won't understand, like, just, like, watch one of our old live streams, like, when we first used to do Kaiju Battles. Like, this was me and Alex's, like, after me and Alex and, like, Methlo, used to do like a hangout, like everyone would leave and then it would just be me and him and then we'll just talk about the stuff. And then one day we just decided, hey, we'll just make this a live stream and then pretty much what happened. And if you guys don't get anything, you'll you'll probably get it uh, from our old uh, live streams. Like if, if I say, if he plays it smart, <laughs> well, yeah, then, we are all mine. then uh, you guys won't get it if you're new to this, but if you watch on our older stuff, or if you're from one from our older stuff, you'll get what it's from. But yeah, you know, I've been around for like a long time, so. Luckily, Pryline is back. That's what's really good. Yeah, I'm not I'm not dead anymore, guys. So yay. <laughs> <laughs> so bad. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> so which battle do you want to do first for the first episode? Oh god. We should just do all right, the first one should be an ordinary battle, right? Yeah, just note that I'm Let's... gonna pop I'm gonna probably park each battle into like different episodes. Alright, alright. Let's do a Godzilla versus you know what? This will be a Godzilla versus God Godzilla special, alright? Alright. Actually, how about in each video we have like two rounds? Like you have one and then I have one. Yep. All right. For each episode, yeah, yeah. All right. All okay. GMK versus 1964. That's a pretty good battle. Ni 1964 meaning like Mothra and like uh. Mothra versus Mothra. Yeah, yeah. You can just go from there. Who who do you? All right. Uh, should I say first who I think would win or something? Or how about we go over the? We'll go over their uh, stats. Yeah. I'll I'll go over GMK. All right. All right. So GMK, uh, in case you guys don't know, is um from the Godzilla 2001 movie. Uh, Godzilla, a uh, Mothra, uh, King Ghidorah, giant monsters all out attack, and um he's pretty much um this uh the original Godzilla is uh, reborn, like he's possessed again or something like that. And um, he's pretty much the same size as he was before, like 50 meters in height. And um, he he has, um, he's, he's still, uh, he, he has gained some mass, I guess you could say, because, uh, and he has wide, eye, wide eyes now, which makes him make, like, makes him look cool. And um, he's pretty much the same Godzilla, but his atomic breath, like, I guess, is powerful, like, more powerful, I guess. But he, his combat experience is, like, he fought King Ghidorah, he has fought in Mothra, and he has fought Baragon. So, and he fought, like, the military, I guess, like, obviously, you know, that's really obvious. It's right. uniform, yeah, yeah. So, do you want me to go over Godzilla 964? Yeah, sure. Alright, so Godzilla 964... Godzilla 964 basically appeared in the 1964 movie Mothra vs. Godzilla. In this movie, Godzilla's powers have really increased as Godzilla was able to take a heck of a ton of damage. Like, for example, he was able to stand a type of American missiles that were supposedly stronger than the Japanese at the time, as they say in the movie which did some extremely damage all around Godzilla, but didn't even leave him phased at all. He was also able to take extreme electric currents and shocks directly to his head, and was even able to be on fire for a short period of time before wiping out the military. 
Now the problem with Godzilla 964 is that he can be a bit stupid. Like for example, when he fought Mothra, he didn't really know how to kind of focus on Mothra. There were two Mothras after him, so he didn't know which one to focus on. And of course, Godzilla was left disoriented. But in that movie, we saw how Godzilla was able to take a heck of a ton of damage by taking many shots from the military tanks, even catching on fire, high voltage electricity, and even dozens of bombshells from the United States' battleships. So overall, I think Godzilla has a lot of endurance. He's still at the same size as 50 meters as before. And Godzilla's atomic breath has, has improved greatly to the point where he can even melt strong structures. He used to be Godzilla would shoot his atomic breath and it would just make them explode. Now Godzilla can shoot them where tanks would actually disintegrate as if they were just suffering from heat. So, yeah, overall, Godzilla 964 for you. You should, like, whenever, like, you, you said, like, the campy part, like, you know how he's, like, campy and, like, really clumsy? You should just put the part where, like, Godzilla, Godzilla 1964. Trips. Yeah, yeah, trips. like, he trips. Yep. I'm still going to add that scene right now. I mean, okay, when I edit it, I'm just going to Wait, we got to introduce Hedorah somehow. Um, I mean, he could, we, he could just be a person who also states who he thinks would win between the two Godzillas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a freaking cat! Dude, no, he's a dog! What the heck? I'm also gonna make a, my own custom poster for this while you guys are talking. Um, I could just get it ready. I want you guys to know, know your thoughts. It's gonna look pretty stupid, but, you know. Yeah, uh, Hedora, the fight is uh, Godzilla 1964 versus GMK. We all know the winner. I actually think this is a pretty good fight because both Godzillas are extremely menacing. And just kind of inhumane in terms of their decisions. Like but when people... smarter. Obviously, it's 1964. One I mean, dude, he trips on buildings. To a dying adult Mothra and two baby Mothras. And one, one against Baragon, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. Well, which one do you think has greater physical strength? Got GMK. Yeah, yeah GMK. Yeah, that's kind of easy. But honestly, yeah, GMK is more fighting experience, to be honest. Because he, he fought like three kaiju. Another and thing, he has fought in the Mothra. Another thing about GMK Godzilla is that GMK Godzilla can easily anticipate his opponent's moves. Uh, for example, when Godzilla was distracted with King Ghidorah, we saw a clip of Mothra appearing from behind, and Godzilla instantly knew that Mothra was coming from behind and counterattacked. Another way how Godzilla was able to counterattack in the attack Baragon. Was, Baragon. Yeah, that's, that's what I was going to say. When Baragon was jumping towards him, Godzilla just swung his tail and knocked Baragon out of the sky. So this Godzilla, GMK, is extremely intelligent. He isn't the kind of Godzilla that would jump headfirst into a battle. He's the kind of Godzilla that knows how to anticipate his opponent's strategy. He knows how to counter them. But if 1964 plays it smart... Might win. <laughs> if he kind of knows... Though, you know he can't, because he's really dumb. No offense, but Godzilla 2000, 1964 is actually pretty primitive. As much he as I like... He trips on buildings. He trips on buildings, dude. Also that, but he kind of has a hard time getting up after a few electric shocks. Anyway, so this battle has been decided. The winner is GMK Godzilla for better endurance, stronger atomic breath for that matter, and also being more intelligent and anticipating other opponents' moves. And the overall size difference.